Okay, I'm at Philadelphia, the great Philadelphia Comic Con, and I'm going to talk to you about how, how comic books are made. So, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Walden Wong, and I've been a comic book artist for, see, right now it's uh, 2019. I've been a comic book, since, comic book artist since 1996, so right now for 23 years. And while I'm telling you about myself and telling you how comic books are made, uh, I'm going to show you this convention. It's in Philadelphia. My first time in Philadelphia. It's a pretty good convention. Okay, so check out some of the nice shows. So I started in 1996. I started working on independent comic books first. My first published work was an Arctic Press for a book called Shaq and Mary Shooting Gallery. And from then on, I went on to do Marvel and DC at the same time, a year afterwards. My first uh, book was for uh, DC comic books, uh, Justice League of America, JLA. And then when I moved on to Marvel, the first book was for X-Force. You can see it in some of my other videos. So here's the convention. Now let me tell you how comic books are made. Uh, I, this is from what I know. So when a publisher has an idea, they'll start off with an idea, they'll use some of their characters, they'll use some of their characters, and then they have an outline of what they're gonna be writing the comic books with. And then they'll hire writers. Writers will have a meeting with editors and they'll talk about uh, the, you know, the story. So they'll flesh out the story. Uh, writers will write out um, what they're gonna write in the story and uh, develop an idea with the editor, get that approved. It's more of a convention. You know, this is such a big convention, I'm gonna walk around so the artist alley so you can see uh, some of the artists that are here. Okay, so you check it out. And after a story is written, uh, usually the writer will include a uh, like, like what's happening in page one, what's happening in panel two, panel three, and if they have reference, they'll include the reference for the writers, and then they'll include reference for the artist. That script goes to the editor, the editor then passes that on to the penciler. Penciler gets the script, and then he'll draw it. He'll draw it, he'll do uh, layouts of all the pages, and then after doing the layouts, uh, they'll send the layouts back to the editor, who approves the layouts. Uh, oftentimes when it's not approved, the uh, penciler will redraw it. Thumbnails, thumbnail layouts. When it's approved, the penciler will then finish drawing everything in detail. Here's some of the artists. Some of the artists here, okay. After that's approved, the penciler will then send, okay, there's two ways the penciler sends the artwork to the inker. Uh, they'll either FedEx the original pages to the inker, or, oh yeah, I'll point it this way. Okay, and then I'll, I'll point this way. Okay, there's these guys. Okay. So the pencil will then send the artwork to the inker. Either they'll FedEx it, UPS it, or DHL it, whichever to send the original pages to the inker. Inker then inks on the original pencils. The other way is where the penciler will scan the pages in a color format, and then they'll send the file over to the inker. That's what I do. And then the uh, inker will get the pages and convert it into blue line, convert it to blue line, and then print it out. Print it out and then ink on top of that. The reason we print in blue lines, like after we're done inking it, uh, we'll, after we're done inking it, we'll ink the blue line and scan it. When we scan in color, the scanner doesn't pick up any of the blue line stuff. Hello, and here's these guys. This is uh, Bob Almond's booth. Okay, some of the ink little people. That's not Bob Almond. Okay. Okay, after we're done uh, inking it, then I'll scan the file and I'll send it back to the editor. The editor then looks over the pages and then approves it. Usually during the inking stage, it's really easy. They don't really um, need to approve anything. The penciling stage, uh, sometimes like a logo will be drawn differently or an extra finger will be drawn, so that will be corrected. Once in a while, I have to do some of the corrections and they're fairly minor, like maybe during uh, a project, uh, like the edit, like the logo change or something, and we'll fix that. Okay. Now, when I'm done with the inking, those pages get scanned, and after a scan, it goes to the colors. The colors gets the pages, and the letter gets the pages. The letter actually gets the pages after the penciler is done uh, 
like working on it. So it's being inked and lettered at the same time. So here's some of the booths here. Here's some booths here. Very cool. Okay, and here's, oh look, here's, here's Joe. Joe Prado, the guy who is Ivan Reese. I, I, I love that guy. Right over the top of his ears. He already has a crowd, the convention hasn't opened yet. Okay. After it's done colored and then lettered, they'll, they'll put all that together and then they'll just make a comic book out of that. Editor gets it one more time, they'll proof over it and then make sure everything's done correctly. Uh, it goes through the uh, goes through a uh, proofreading stage, make sure the colors are correct, letters are correct, and that's how a comic book is made, either through Marvel and DC. So there you have it, that's how a comic book is made. So I'm gonna, right now, you know it's, I'm gonna walk through the rest of the conventions, there's not really that much uh, people here yet, so let's take a look. Okay, let's see. Who are you supposed to be? I am Mosquito Girl from One Punch Man. From One Punch Man? Yes. Oh, fair. You're tall. I'm very are you, tall. Oh, this is this is your rig. Your rig. Look, hey, I thought you were wearing something. Oh, let's look. How long does it take you to uh, suit up? This took about a month. It took about a month to build. Yes. And then build. and then uh, how about to put on? An hour. An hour. Oh, it's very nice. Well, makeup. Makes makeup. It, makeup makes it like two hours. Two hours. Yeah. And is this your booth? Ozzy yes. Cosway. Yes. Oh, here's here's her booth, right over here. Take a look in all her Instagram feed. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And then here's more cosplay. I think this is, this is a cosplay area. Everyone likes cosplay, so let's check this out. Cosplay right over here. So right over here. Hello, how are you? Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a... Look at this. This is pretty awesome. Oh man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, doing good. What's your name? My name, I'm Corey Morgan. Corey Morgan. Yep. And cosplay name, straight out of cosplay. Straight out of cosplay? Falcon from uh, from the Avengers movies. Yes. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Well, you got that, uh, the, does it do anything? Oh, can you open up the wings? Oh, we gotta, we gotta see this. I can bring them out. There it is. Yeah, Very yeah. nice. Very nice. You'll see me. I'll probably have a different Falcon costume on later on in the day. I've got probably about three or four that you'll see over the course of the weekend. Oh, very cool. Very yeah. cool. And you're Spider Girl. I'm Spider Woman. Spider Woman. <laughs> and are you be Spider Woman tomorrow? No. I'll no? be Jessica, Jessica Cruz. Jessica Cruz. Yes. And then how about Sunday? Sunday, I'll be Katana. Katana. <laughs> very cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's more cosplay. I don't know if someone's going to dress up here. You know, that was pretty good. And then here's more people here. Yeah, so working in comics, I usually work at home. I have a studio at home, and then my typical day working in comics is I wake up, and I'll check the emails. Uh, let me, you know, let me talk to you how how I would get a project. Now, I'll, I'll get an email from an editor, and then the email will usually say something like, hey Walden, we have this project available, and they'll just describe the project, what it, what it is, and what the deadline is, and then they'll ask, oh, um, are you available, and are you interested? So yeah, typically I wake up, I work on the comics, and pretty much I'll start working around 8 o'clock in the morning, check the email, Actually, you know, I, I put my cell phone right next to my drawing table, so if anyone emails me, there's like an instant notification. So I don't really, I don't really sit down on a computer and check it. So that just comes. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep working. Usually, around my average time to stop is around 1 a.m. 2 a.m. in the morning. It is a lot of work. Oh, here's here's Neil, Neil Adams' booth. Look at this. Let me see Neil Adams. Let me, let me. His booth is huge. Right over here. So right over here. Neil Adams. Neil Adams, right over here. Very cool. <laughs> and all his stuff. Okay. And then I work until 2 or 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. So when I'm done working, I'll usually scan the page and get it ready for the editor at nighttime. So when they go into the office, they'll get it early in the morning. And then once that's done, I'll continue that and do it for the next day. Usually I'll work from Mondays, you know, every day of the week. So being a comic book artist, it, there's no such thing as, you know, holiday or vacation day or weekends. Uh, every day is just another uh, work day. So you just do the work and and try to finish it. Because as, as an artist, if you don't finish your work, uh, the publishers are always able to find someone else who can finish the work. Uh, it will, very rarely do you get a project that can wait for an artist to finish the work. 
maybe once in a while, but because most comics are deadline driven, it needs to be finished and done at the same time. That's why a lot of times you'll see comic books that has a lot of uh, credits, like a lot of artist credits in there. It's because the project needs to be done and then they will hire different pencilers, different inkers, sometimes even different uh, colors just to get the project done on time. So anytime you see comics that has a lot of credits, it's because it's falling behind. When you see a comic book that has only one inker, one artist, uh, it's nice. Uh, a lot of comic books, they're, they have a penciler inker team. Uh, inking is what I do. and. The reason there's a pencil on inker is because that helps speeds up the process. Okay, and then here we go, Lord. Uh, sometimes you get a, a comic book that has a, a pencil who's inking their own work, and that's it takes a little bit more time to finish the work. So that's why they have a penciler inker team. So here we go. And that's how comic books are made, and then that's what I do. I do comic book inking uh, for, for a while now. So comment down below, any questions? Oh, you know what, let me show you my booth. And okay, let me show you who I'm sitting next to. Uh, my booth is here, right over here. Okay, here's my booth. Okay, so here, here is right over here. Okay, oops. So, in this island, you know what, I should go walk by and say hi to some of the artists so you guys can see who some of the artists is. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, over here. Okay, let's. So these are the feature artists in Philadelphia Comic Con. So let's take a look right over here. So we have the, the art of her trippy. Art of her trippy. That's this booth here. Hello. This one is Larry Hamas booth, who I said hello earlier when we were walking around. Uh, this one is Guy Durian. Guy Durian, right over here. And we have oh, Bob Bauman. Hello, how are you? Okay. You're Tom, right? Yes. Tom, I'm Walden. Nice hey, to meet you. Hey, Walden, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Good, how are you you two finally? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emails. Yes, that's right. And then here's Christopher, Christopher Priest. Uh, we worked on a couple issues of Black Pants. Oh, you know what? There's a the crowd. Let's go check out the crowd. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to, uh, I'll come back to uh, look at the rest of the booth. I don't know why they're not coming. I thought the convention was uh, open at 1, and right now it's like uh, around 1.30. So, let's check out. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so right here. So, there's this guy. Who's holding down the fort? You're you're, you're gonna open it. Why aren't they coming yeah. in yet? Uh, as far as I know, they're just waiting for final clearance. Final clearance. Final clearance. So no one's in. I thought it opens at one. That is what uh, I believe is written. Okay. So here's the lines for the convention right over here. Okay. Are you guys ready for the convention? Yes. Yeah. Who's excited? <laughs> A few more minutes and you guys will be able to go in. Okay. Yeah. Have fun, everyone. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, so that's the line of the convention, right over here. Check that out. Okay. Okay. Going back to my booth area. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Have fun. Okay. So, oh, this is I think it's Arthur Saidam's booth. Okay, he's not here yet. Okay. Let me get to my booth. No one's here yet. Okay. Let's see. Chris Mad, Chris Mad. Oh, there he is. There he is, right over here. Hey, Chris, how are you? All right, how so are here's, you? Here's Chris Mad. Chris is all prepared. He has a lot of cool stuff here. Very nice. And Very the nice. kitchen sink yeah. under here. Do you have a website you want to promote? Gone Mad. Gone Mad. Studios. Studios. At Weebly.com. At Weebly.com. Chris also has a Facebook account, Instagram, DeviantArt. All that. All that, all that fun stuff. So look for Chris there. Go for Chris there. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna walk around back that way. This way, right over here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Chris there, please. And this is. Oh, this is Don McGregor. We, I saw you on the bus. I didn't know who you are. This is Don. How are you? Hello. I'm Walden. Nice to meet you. Hello. Yeah. So this is your booth. 
And Don's this, is, been, this is my building. Yes, and Don's now been doing got, comics. Otherwise, why would that be there? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and how long have you been working in comics? Well, somebody's taking, maybe it's a lot people are taking my place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> what is this for? Is this for the con? No, this is for my YouTube channel. This is for your YouTube, YouTube channel? YouTube channel, yeah, so it's going to go up on YouTube. You need to have yeah. some women in there, too. Oh, yeah, I'm walking around, but I don't really see any. No, any you need while we're talking. Oh, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, there's Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander. <laughs> yeah, they're right over there. So he's just okay. walking. Okay, there nice, nice to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you. Same here. Okay. Great time. This is Sal. Sal Veluto. Sal Veluto. Sal Veluto. Nice to meet you, Sal. Hi, I'm how Morgan. Are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Okay. Sal's work. Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Uh, you pencil Black Panther. Yes, sir. Christopher Priest wrote it. There's a panel with you and Bob going on. Don. Yes, and Don. Oh, that's that's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, and Christopher Free Priest. I saw him. That's right. So let's see if I can see that later. Nice to meet you. And here. Okay. This. I. Okay. This guy. I absolutely love this guy. I worked with him on the Warlord, Warlord. for seven issues. This is drum roll, Joe Prado, right over here. Okay. The famous Joe Prado. I was so excited to see him at this convention. I, I haven't seen you. Okay, the last time we saw each other was in San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. That was a long time ago. A long time yeah, ago. When yeah, when we were I don't just know. working on Warlord. I don't remember what year that uh, was. It, it was like 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. 10 and years then, ago. And you've been keeping busy for a long time. Yeah. Ten yeah. years. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. You, how long have you been doing comics? Oh, for over twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Years. If we count the Brazilian uh, marketing market. Yeah. You know, it's twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight years. Yeah. For a long time. For a long time. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Are Are you still doing Brazilian stuff or? No, no, no. Yeah. No, oh, just, so just for for the past fifteen years, I've been doing stuff only for the. The, the U.S. market. The U.S. market, yeah. Yeah. and mostly for DC. Mostly for DC. How about Marvel? Are you? Oh, I did. About? I only did one ad advertising. What advertising? Job for them like years ago. I don't know, like twelve years ago. Twelve. Don't you want to get your feet wet with some of the Marvel characters? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And what are you working on now? Right now we're doing. Uh, I'm doing uh, inks for Ivan Rays on Superman. Yes. With Brian Bendis writing the book. So. Yes. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. Oh, it, it is. looks like the crowd's coming in. Yeah, we'll talk oh, no. again later. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Oh, so, so happy to see you. So happy to see you. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Okay, and then we have LaBue Underwood. Hey, LaBue, I'm Walden. Hey. Nice to meet you. This is LaBue. Okay, a very good uh, anchor. Very good anchor. Uh, some of his work here. Okay, very cool. You have a website you want to promote? Uh, not necessarily a website, but you can uh, look me up on Facebook and also on Facebook. Can, yeah, and look up some of my work on uh, I'm on Instagram and I'm also on Twitter as well. So, cool. And uh, cool. feel free to check out Lion Forest Comics website as well. I'm on there, and I got some stuff coming out of Marvel too. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah uh, we spoke on social media every so often, yeah. but this is the first time we're meeting each other. Right. So exactly. it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise. So I'll talk to you. Yeah. yeah Take yes, care. Good to meet right. you. All right. Likewise. Take likewise. care. And this is. This is Tony Isabella. Hi. Hey, Walden. My first time meeting you. I know so much about you. I know so much about you. Are very nice to meet you. Thanks. What are you? Uh, what are you promoting here today? Are you promoting anything or just uh, black lightning? Black lightning. Oh, right created, over here. Right I created over here. the character 40 years ago. Oh yeah. Ago. How was? How, how did it feel when the the TV show came out? Well, you know, there's a lot of me in the TV show. Yeah. Everybody who works on the show has, has just been wonderful to me. Um, there, I yes. The set. So yeah. And that, that's the event that the stand-in wears. Oh, very cool. Next very cool. season, I'll be on the show as a character called Short Circuit. Short Circuit. Which I'm making up entirely. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was very nice. Oh, here's Black Lightning. If you haven't seen the show, watch it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, Thank nice you, to meet Walden. you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. And we're gonna continue going here. Here's J.K. Woodard, but he's not here yet. So there's his banner. And then we have Scott Hanna. Scott Hanna's booth is right over here. Here's Scott Hanna's booth. Scott's not here yet. So. That's his booth, there's his banner. And then right next to Scott is Billy Tucci. Billy Tucci's booth. Billy's not here yet, there's his banner. And then the booth next to Billy is Walden Wall. Right over here, that's me. 
See, that's my mug right over there. Okay, that's me. Okay, and then right, <laughs> right next to. Oh, how are you? How, is this your first convention? Yeah. Yeah. How do you like it? I like it so far. Yeah. Have you been to a convention before? No. 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 You're, are you like a pop culture person? Like how book person? Someone like that. Someone like that. Uh -huh. okay, what's your name? Danny Lee. Danny Lee. So my YouTube channel is Wall to Wall Art. I'm the artist. I run the channel. So uh -huh. you're gonna be in it. Is that okay? Sure. Cool. So look for yourself there. Wall to Wall right. Art. Okay. I will. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, I saw you earlier. I saw yeah. Scoopy right over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have the famous Kevin Conrad. I'm sitting next to Kevin Conrad. Here's my booth, and here's Kevin. This is Kevin. Look at that. Kevin, Kevin so busy. You know, I, I can't believe I'm sitting next to Kevin. Like uh, before, I was working in comics. Uh, I looked up to Kevin's work a lot. He was working on a Spawn, a Top of Spawn production. I was studying his inks. So my first time meeting Kevin Karan, when we saw each other, we just, you know, he knew of my work. I knew of his work. So it was very nice to see Kevin. So Kevin's over here. So I, I want to get some of Kevin on film. Let's see what he's working on. Okay, I know he's busy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna interrupt. Oh, right here, flip that over. Flip that over. Bam! Oh, you know who did this? I know Do you the guy know who did, did this? this? I know the guy. Kevin did, did the art for that. Do you have the original? Original art for that. And then here's Cooper. the original. Girl VIP here. badge. Look at that. See that? And casting agents. And floating around right here somewhere are are the prints themselves. Oh, I don't have that badge. No, you, you don't. Have that badge. What's that? Oh, You're oh, this is a VIP. Oh, yeah, I that's see. That's right. You're not okay. Yeah, and this is Kevin Conrad. This he is. This is Kevin Conrad. And I can't believe I'm sitting next to him. Oh, come on. I didn't tell you this. Before I started working in comics, I would study your work. Oh my god. On spot. I would, wow. I would study your work. Really, really? I would study Daddy Mickey's work. Both yeah. of yours were amazing work. Yeah. And then. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it is pretty awesome. It's Thanks. pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you yeah, so like, much, man. I, I, I just saw some of uh, Kevin, Kevin's inks and it's, it's amazing. Right over here. Yeah, so, it's clear so, stuff. So what are you working on now? Are you keeping um, busy? I'm actually retired, semi-retired. I do, sh I do shows, um, do a lot of commission work for people. And I'm uh, doing some work for a small gaming company too, so for yeah. character design. Would you so. come back and do comics full time? Man, I would. If the, if the money was right, I'd do oh, it. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the yeah. money in order but to go. A lot, a, lot, a lot of us artists, we do comics because we love it. I, I, yeah, but right. the money is not really exactly like superstar money. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it, and I don't want to sound like a, like a, you know what, but no, it's just like for, because I do have a full-time job now. What yeah. I do now and the benefits I have, it would... Yeah, that's to give true. all that up, yeah. I, I, I would have to have this. <laughs> it would have to be pretty sweet. Yeah, right. yeah. But be trust me. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. But trust me, this is my first love, my only love. Yes. And uh, I only do the other job so I can also allows me to. Oh do yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, being a freelancer, there's no vacation, no, no weekends, no health benefits, no dental, <laughs> none of that. You have to pay for that yourself. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. it, you have to really love comics to work in comics. Yeah, yeah I did it, for, I did it for, a long, you know, for a good number of years and I uh, was very successful for the entire time I was in. Yeah. Yeah, and really, I left. It, um, I left when it was. I was still very successful, and yes, I just had to make a. Decision. I'm pretty sure if you step back in, you'll be successful. Oh, again. thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, you're 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 that good. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you very you, much. Man. You, Danny, Nikki, RT Bear. Art's you three, boy. you yeah. three are like the king of kings oh, of thinkers. Oh man, oh man, what yeah. the art here is that? We the art and I talk every yeah, week. I, so. I talk to art. Oh, you talk to art. Yeah, every mine week? is. I'm, I'm do, I do a I do a podcast with art. For, yeah. it's called Kiss Corner. Oh I'm yeah, also yeah. Kids I call art uh, the godfather of inking. Yes. Because I think uh, every art skill came from him in some way or another. Because I, I learned from uh, Marlo Aquiza. Yes. You know what Marlo, that is? I know Marlo too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, he helped me along the way. Yeah. So that that was pretty nice. Marlo, Marlo is a good guy too. Very, very talented. Yeah. But yeah, art actually. Help me when I got. Oh really, it. really? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Godfather. Come? Yeah, Godfather. Yeah. Critique me, three thousand miles, or whatever. California, New York. We'd be talking oh, wow. on the phone, yeah. sending faxes, faxes. Oh yeah, before oh, the internet. Yeah. Before the internet. And he would, uh, he would critique my work, and I'd redo it, and he would critique it again. And 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was a very big help. Like he would critique your photocopies and then yes. he could, same yeah. thing that uh, Marlo did for me. He, I would mail photocopies and then he would write it up in some of it and send it back to me. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, it's really nice. Man. Guys like that, man. Yeah. You know, and that's why I always try to pay it forward to myself. Yes. You know, I yes. do the same thing. People ask me for help or, or advice, you know, and I'm I'm always willing to. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, take that time. You, know. you, you have any social media accounts that you want to plug? I do. Kevin Conrad Art um, is. I have a Facebook site and my and I have a personal site too. I think you can find it the same way. Um, still has some room for some friends. Um, I, I, uh, and also I have an Instagram, Kevin Conrad Art as well. Yeah. So look look for that on your social media. Yeah. And that's Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Walter, Thank you. Man. Thanks and so I'm much. Right next to Kevin. I'm, I'm right over I'm right over here. So awesome. Thank you. Thanks. So let's look at my booth booth. Here's my booth. Right over here. Look, look. Look, that, that head is bigger than my head. Right, right over here. Look at that. And here's my view from my booth. So this is all I'm going to see for the next three days, right over here. Okay, so I, I came to this convention, I brought my, my video camera, I forgot to bring my mic. And then Omar, I met here, came to the rescue. This is Omar, hey, yo, what's up? and he let me borrow his microphone, right over here. Yeah. Check this out. So now I have a microphone for my camera. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So sure. yeah, that your lifesaver. Yeah, Thank you so much. No so there you have it. That's Omar. And then chat his channel. What is the channel? What's your channel again? YouTube.com slash C slash Omar B Ramali. That's O M A R B R I M A W I. One day I'll come up with a better name than my yeah, own. Yeah. Look for him there and subscribe, okay? Thank you. And just remember, just remember. Content creators gotta support each other. Yeah, yeah. You see someone out in the wild, give them a hand. You never know when karma will pay you back.